what's going on? Today is Tuesday, June 7th, 2022. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. We're having a good day. It is me. My name is Rachel Langston. If you are brand new here, I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. And behind the camera today working all the tech is my lovely husband, James. Hello, James. Howdy. And uh, the best cheerleader in the world, our son Charlie, is here. Um, he's living his best life, kicking and looking around, so he's, he's doing fantastic. Uh, so we are all here with you today. Um, I'm going to give a few minutes to let some more people join. I hope you all are doing well. It is very rainy here today. Very My poor rainy. hair did not stand a chance after I blow dried it. It's a good day to be a duck. It's a good day to be a duck, James says. That's mm. something that his dad says all the time. The first time I heard it was years ago at the beach when it rained us out one day. And James's dad, Jamie, my father-in-law, we were all outside on the deck and he was looking out like to a river and ducks were having a ball. And he said, it's a good day to be a duck. It was just raining and now we, we say it all the time. Um, Kat says, just got on the road heading from Michigan to Tennessee for the camp with the flock trip. Kat, I hope that you all are being safe, you and Scott. Yeah, be careful. Yes, prayers for safe travels for all of you that are coming in. Today is the only live this week because all the other flock members are heading heading over there to Cumberland Mountain State Park. Uh, Becca and Anna and their parents, Doug and Jan, have been there since Saturday. Uh, and tomorrow I'm heading up there with Charlie and we're going to... We're going to be there too. So today is the only live stream. We will have some pre-recorded content. They are not premiered. So premieres are what you are used to. And that is when me or Becca can chime in and type in the comments. Since we can't really do that, we have opted to just schedule them, which means they are like, you can't see them at all on the, on the, on our page, our homepage on our YouTube channel. And then boom, you can all of a sudden see them when they are published. So they are going to be going live at noon every day, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, um, Eastern time. Yes. Hey everyone. Hi friends watching from Cumberland Mountain. I'm guessing that's Becca, if I had to guess. Um, but anyways, I'm so glad that you all are here. Yes, yes, Becca and Anna have been there. They are having, they're having a blast. I cannot wait to join them. Uh, my camper is being delivered tomorrow. How cool is that? Um, so we're making a really cute little pop-out box today. Um, now you can personalize this with whatever you want. I have opted to use only cut files today, but you can use fonts to really make this personalized. Um, this is going to be a super fun, super fun craft though. So we'll go over supplies. Supplies are all linked below as well. So we will go through that. If you hear Charlie's little coos and stuff, don't be alarmed. And then we also have my mom's dog here, Lucy. My mom is actually in Crossville right now. Um, for a little work meeting today. Uh, so Lucy was going to be lonely today, so we scooped her up. So she's here running around. So if you hear her crying a little bit too, uh, she's very interested in looking out at the road from the window where their door is. So there could be some outside noises that you hear. Just be aware of that today. Um, hello, good morning, everyone. Yes, it is, it is raining here in uh, Tennessee. It sure is. Okay. Here we go on supplies. I have pre-made some of this, pre-painted some of this just to save on time because your all's time is valuable. So we have a paper mache box. This is a three inch paper mache box. Now, something about this is you do not have to use this box. The cut file that Becca so amazingly made for us actually has a paper box in it. So you can use Becca's cut file that we're using today we're cutting out the box part because we're not going to be using it. I'm cutting out. That makes it seem like we're making it. We're not using the box part because we already have a box here that we want to use. But if you don't have a box, you can make a paper box as well in that cut file. It's all included together. Now, this is a great time to say, along with the cut file we're using today, we have hundreds more at Oak and Lamb. We have a lot of great member-only perks and an unmatched Facebook community that is absolutely to die for. And we are running a little bit of a sale using the code FUNFUN at checkout. You can get $10 off your first month with us making your first month $9.99, which is probably cheaper than the lunch you're going to get today. 
but I'm just saying. You can go in there, download all the cut files that you want, get plugged into the Facebook group and just see what we're about. We are all about making everyone a confident and well-rounded crafter, whether you're like a Cricut beginner or super advanced. And our cut files are not just for Cricut. We love to teach and train on uh, laser cutters, sublimation, woodworking, sewing, home decor, and so much more. So Oak and Lamb is the place to be. Okay. Katrina said, I can't believe I finally found you. You all look amazing, and now I can get crafting. Oh, Katrina, we're so glad that you're here. Thank you for being here. You're amazing. We're so happy that you found us. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Okay. So, we have our little paper mache box. I have painted ours white. You can paint it whatever colors you want. The cut files we're using today are from a... Uh, new collection that Becca launched. Gosh, I hope it's launched. Oh my gosh. I think it's launched. If not, you'll see it soon. It's some birthday cup. Holes. I'm pretty sure they're live on the site. I'm going to check really quick. It's fine if they're not, but Becca drops cup files every single week for us right now, which is so amazing. Now, that's not always going to be the case. Do not always expect weekly cup files. Um, eventually, we're going to do cup files um, a little less frequently, but of course, there'll be more cup files in those releases. They are on the site. Okay, it's, the, it's some of the new birthday ones with the llama and the retro colors. So stinking cute. I wanted to make sure they were there for you guys. Um, so go check out Oak and Lamb. Even if you're not a member, you can check out the site and look at the cut files that we have. We also have some uh, posts in our private Facebook group about cut file requests where our members drop what they want to see and you guys will see it in upcoming collections when Becca gets around to making those because we want to make sure that you guys are always happy and we're giving you what you want to see. Okay, so we painted this white. I have already painted it. It's right back here, ready to go for us. Um, so we have some white acrylic paint and I used a foam brush for this. I like foam brushes for things like paper mache. Um, it seems to help it go a little bit quicker. So that's what we use for that. And then I'm actually going to be glittering the edge of this box. So I have some Mod Podge here. I got this at the Dollar Tree. Can you believe it? And we have a paintbrush that I'm just going to of course, brush our Mod Podge on the sides, and I'm going to sprinkle glitter all over this. So I have a piece of heavy cardstock to sprinkle my glitter over. That way, I can save the glitter that falls underneath it. Okay, so we've got all that. We have our ATG gun because we are doing some paper crafting today. You need to attach some things. So this is our favorite dry adhesive. We love this. We also have some scrap cardstock. Um, you don't need much for this project at all, just a little bit. This is probably six inches of cardstock. So we have that, it needs to be 12, 12 inches long though. We have Zakoto. This is our favorite printable vinyl. It is glossy, it is water resistant. It's amazing, we love this. So along with this, we do have our Canon inkjet printer. I've already pre-printed and pre-cut these because sometimes the Cricut and the printer can be a little bit fidgety and again, I don't want to waste Charles' time. We have plenty of amazing content on how to make stickers. Becca has that video. It is amazing. And we have some great print and cut videos if you're not familiar with print and cut. Um, if your machine is cutting a bit off, don't forget to calibrate it. We do have a video on that as well. So lots of training here at Oak and Lamb. So we have our favorite printable vinyl and we have our printer here. It's always important for your printer to have a rear loading tray. If you can see that right here, this thing, that is a rear loading tray. It is very important for materials like printable vinyl, printable heat transfer vinyl, things like that, that normal printers don't really like to print on because uh, with a rear loading tray, it just goes straight through the printer. Whereas with a regular printer that doesn't have a rear loading tray, it's loaded on the bottom and has to go up and over the printer and that's where things can get stuck and jammed all the time. So if you're picking out a printer, please pick one with that. Yes. Okay, Jan, Charlie Cameo, a char Charlieo Jan. Charlie so, I have some hilarious news. Um, Charlie has grown quickly, you know. So he is out of newborn. He is out of zero to three. He is now in three to six month. Um, not onesies, because really the length is the problem. He's yeah, very he's tall. Not, he's not that chunky. He's, he's very just, tall for his age. So he's in as footy tall pajamas, as a four month old and yeah. he's two months old. So in footy pajamas, he needs a three to six month, and that's what we keep him in to sleep because it's cold in our house. So he had one more footy 
a pair of footy pajamas and he was in them. And I told James like it was going to be James that it was going to happen with. I was like, James, if he spits up or anything on this, um, in this footy, that's all that he has. He does not have any more clean. I have not been able to do wash for him. He has nothing else to wear. Do not let him mess this up. And James was like, okay. Well, he spit up with me last night at like 3 o'clock in the morning. So in the dark, though as not to wake him up further by turning the light on, I was sifting through his closet in the dark and found one footy that had that was three to six months that was in there, only one that was clean, and it's a skeleton. Oh, he's mad about it. It's a skeleton. It has like bones and then a red bow tie. It's hilarious. Uh, James, can you please put the pass in his mouth or something? So that, that is what he's in right now, and he, clearly he's upset about it too. Um, so I'm too embarrassed to do a cameo today because he looks like he's ready for Halloween. <laughs> but anyways, Jen, you'll be able to see him, squeeze him, hold him, and hug him tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. Um, but thank you. Thanks for asking. Um, he's here, though. <laughs> okay. Um, next, we went through all this. We, of course, have our Cricut. We were using our Cricut Maker 3. However, you can use whatever Cricut you have because we're also using our scoring stylus, so you are not just limited to the Maker either uh, whether you have the explore explore air explore air 2 uh, explore 3 whatever you can use this scoring stylus as well as all the makers now with the makers you do have um, the scoring wheel option however you don't have to use that if you don't want to that is best for a bit thicker card stocks at least that's what Becca says um, she's the paper crafter out of us too so we're using the scoring stylus today let me see here. Does the coupon code only apply to the monthly membership or can I put it towards the yearly? Uh, Katrina, it only, this coupon code specifically only applies to the monthly membership. Um, yeah. Um, if you want to email us, hello at oakandlam.com. Uh, we might can help you out with that yearly membership. So give us an email if you would like. Uh, other than that, that monthly is a really great deal, especially if you're on the fence, Miss Katrina. Then you can kind of see what we're about, see if you like uh, our community. Then you can always upgrade from there, from your monthly membership. Uh, but if you want yearly, yeah, go ahead and give us an email and we'll see if we can help you out. Okay, let me see here. Um... Real life problems, love it. Patty, it is definitely a, uh, a mom thing. I, uh, I thought it was so funny when I was going through his closet and that's all I found. And then it, it's raining a little bit chilly today, so I didn't want to put him in a onesie that actually fit him. So I'm like, I guess we're just gonna, I guess us and Bones are gonna hit the road and go to the studio today. Um, yes, okay. So, that's it. We have our map. We have a brayer and a weeder tool. That's basically all we need for this project today. Not a ton of supplies, honestly. Not that many. I'm gonna get everything out of the way for us. Um, uh, this project, I wouldn't say it's design space heavy, but it's a good one if you're a beginner and you kinda want to force yourself to master design space because you have to learn a lot of different things. We're switching uh, cut lines to score lines. We're changing some colors. We're adding some offsets. We're doing some contouring. We're flattening. We're doing a lot of things in design space. Not difficult things, just things that kind of help you navigate, especially if you're a beginner. If you're a seasoned Cricut crafter, this is probably going to take you all of five minutes, which is great. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and switch over to camera three. And I will share with you the cut file that we're doing today, James, if you don't care. Camera three, please. And we'll do this. So here is the cut file as it is imported. Here is the uh, box cut file that we have here. And I want to share with you what you need to do if you're wanting to use this box. Uh, so you're going to go ahead and ungroup this. And if you can see here, there are like cut lines on this. You can see all these cut lines like this right here. You can see this is a cut line. I'm going to go back. What you're going to do is click that layer, go up to orientation, and change that from a basic cut to a score line. And now you select both of those, and you click attach. 
Now this square here, you see this random square, you're like, well, what is this? Same thing. You go up to orientation, click score. Now you have a score line. You go over here, attach. That's exactly how you want your box to look. That's how you're gonna be able to cut this. It's gonna score and you're gonna be able to mark those score lines and cut this out and fold it up accordingly. Now, since we're not using that, I'm gonna go ahead and delete those. And here are our panels for our little pop-out box. Charlie's mad. And we're gonna do the same thing. We have that one selected. We're gonna go up to orientation, click score. Go over here, orientation, score and you are going to separately attach these attach attach now i'm going to change the color of these to a pink because i am going to use like a pink paper for this so i'm going to change my little panels to pink okay now these are already pre-sized for me for a three inch box so these are 2.75 inches um wide and that's exactly what we need for a box like this so have that ready to go. Now, the thing that you want to know is the first panel and the last panel are going to be stuck to the bottom of the box and the top of the lid on the box. So, if we want to bring this up and bring this one down, you also have to think we're gonna be overlapping two of these to stick them together. So, you're gonna be overlapping these two if that makes sense. We can't overlap it like this because there's nothing for this to stick to. So we're overlapping a whole panel just like that. And then the first one up here is gonna be stuck to the top of the box. And this bottom one down here is gonna be stuck to the bottom of the box. So we only have one, two, three, four, five panels to decorate if we wanted to. You do not have to decorate all the panels. Um, totally up to you. This is kind of when your creative freedom can go into play. You can use uh, print the cuts, you can use regular vinyl because vinyl on paper works really well. Um, yeah, so really whatever you wanna do, uh, dealer's choice on this one, we decided to grab some really cute cut files. So let me go ahead and get a bit closer in and let you see these. So on my panels, if Design Space would kind of load for me, it says have a dynamite birthday, happy birthday. This one says happy birthday as well, happy birthday. And then Llama show you how to party, super stinking cute. I wanted to highlight some of these adorable cut files that Becca created for a birthday. So this one right here that says birthday wishes, we're gonna use on the front top of the box. So that is why that one is not included on a panel because we're gonna stick it on the box. So we're gonna print all of these out on printable uh, heat transfer vinyl, or not heat transfer vinyl, printable regular vinyl. Um, it's Zakoto, it is glossy. And you might be thinking, well, this looks a little bit different than that. This looks a little bit different than that. We have added offsets to all of these, except this one, we have actually sliced it. So I'm gonna share with you how to do all of that. So I'm gonna go and grab a shape. I'm gonna get a square with rounded edges. I do like that the basic shapes have that. James, if you're watching the comments, if you have time, if there's any questions, let me know because I kind of can't see them. So let me know. I'm gonna go up here. Okay, that's fine. And center this. And now that it is centered, I wanted this to be a square. It was more rectangular, I wanted it to be a square. So now that I have this, I'm gonna click both of these and I'm gonna slice, I'm gonna slice it out. Now it's okay if you see I have a little bit on each edge, that's totally fine. So you can see I cut that out. Now this one's ready to go. It's ready to be sized and placed. So all you have to do is size it down and then place it in a square. You can see how good that's gonna fit. Okay, so you're gonna erase your layers that you do not need. And let's add an offset. So I'm gonna go over here. Let's make this kind of big and I'll share with you. You're gonna go up here and click the offset layer, just like this. And I'm gonna click apply. Now, if you want it to be bigger, you can take this little toggle, make it bigger, just like that. Or you can make it smaller, just like that. I'm gonna keep it about like that. Now you're gonna click apply. Now you're like, oh, what happened? It's okay. You're gonna click the one layer and if you ever wanted to contour this, it's at a print, it's a print and cut. You cannot contour print and cut. So what you'd have to do is come up here and change it from print and cut to a basic cut if you wanted to go in here and contour, but there's nothing to contour, which is good. But sometimes the insides of these little letters and stuff will not um, have an offset and you want it to. So you can just kind of contour those in. 
Um, so now we're going to change the color of this and I'm actually going to change the color to this green because if I change it to white, as you can see, it, our, our llama blends in. We don't want that. So we're going to change the offset to the, a little bit of a, it's not kind of a lime green, but it's a pretty green color. Now we're going to flatten it all together and size it and place it just like we did. So you can see we just sized and placed our llama there. And we'll do this one as a last one, a little example of our offset here. We're going to click offset and apply. And see, I want this to actually cover. So I'm actually going to take this and delete it and get me another offset. I want to make it a bit bigger. I'm going to pay attention this time. I'm going to make it bigger. Perfect. Now I'm going to click apply. There we go. Now I've covered that. Now I'm going to change the color to white. I want this. I want all the offsets white if I can possibly help it. So I like that. I'm going to take it, flatten it, and size it down, and place it. Again, um, use your use your text boxes. Use your fonts. Use whatever it is that you want to use. You don't even have to add offsets to these if you want to, but they would be a lot more difficult to place if you didn't use offsets, which is why for print the cut we definitely prefer that. And then we took this one here and did the same thing, added an offset. I did make this one a little bit wider than the original, but you can tell it's not so wide that the letters are starting to distort. You can still see it really well. So that's what we're going for. And again, this one is going to go on the top of our box. So make sure that you size this accordingly. The top of our box is... Um, three, three and a quarter inches. So this is going to fit perfectly on our box. Okay, so we have all that ready to go. This was for visualization purposes, boom. Now we have all this ready. Everything is attached how it needs to be. Everything is sized the way it will fit properly on our little panels. We're good to go. We have Maker 3 selected. We're good to click make it. However, if you want to use this in the future at all, I urge you to go ahead and save this if you want to save your project now we're going to click make it i've already got ours saved which is good and you can see it's all going to cut on one page which is perfect why does it have a oh that's interesting i can move this did you all know you can move these no way what what have you been able to do you have not been able to do this forever this has to be an update James, let me know what they're saying about this. There's about a 30 second delay in the comments, but I did not know you could move stuff on this page. Okay, thank goodness. Thank you, Becca, because I cannot see anything. Let me know, Becca, did you know that this, did you know you could move this? Because I sure did not. I did not know. That's really cool though. Okay, so we have that one ready to go, and then this one is going to score and cut for us. So we're going to click continue and connect to our machine. We're gonna go ahead and send this to our printer. Now we have already printed, but I will show you what I'm gonna be doing. We have it connected to our printer. We're gonna click use system dialog because this is something Becca taught me and I always do it. I'm gonna click print and you're going to minimize your page and it's gonna pop up here for you. Make sure you have it set to rear tray and the best quality, okay? Best quality. Okay. Oh, see, Becca's so smart. Okay, and now you'll click print, but you want to change that quality from normal to best. That is a great hack that Becca showed me. Now, we've already printed this, okay? So it thinks we've printed it, which is great. We use the printable vinyl setting. It did great for us. Um, and we've already cut those out. Lucy, Lucy, calm down. Sorry, guys, if you hear her. There's pretty much nothing I can do. Okay, now for this next one, we have, really it's just a little bit of paper. So we're gonna click medium cardstock, remember material setting, and see how it says load single scoring wheel. We want to use our scoring stylus. So we're gonna click edit tools, scoring stylus, just like that. It's a really easy way to edit your tools like that if you don't wanna use a scoring stylus. Now we can, but the only thing about it is you have to put it in clamp B, which means you have to switch out your blades and we don't wanna do that, we are lazy. Um, so James, if you can, can you switch to the overhead camera? He's holding the bottle and the baby and all kinds of stuff. Okay, we have our mat here. We're gonna load this, the top left-hand corner, just like this. 
And we're going to bray this down just like that. Okay, now you can leave it here, James, because I think I want to try and move the cricket. Am I centered at all? Kind of. Oh. Okay. They don't need to see back here. Okay, yeah, they just need to see up here. Thank you, thank you. Now we're going to load this in just like this. And it's going to measure the mat. Woo. Now we're going to load in our scoring stylus in clamp A. In our clamp, we need to get a new clamp. This one does not make a satisfying noise at all. So we're going to put that in there and let that cut. Now I can go over and see the comments here. Hi, everyone. It's been, it's been too long. I haven't been able to see you in too, too long. I can't use system dialogue any longer. It did an update and I lost the capability. Stacy, no. You did an update on your computer? On your computer and it wouldn't let you? Oh. Watching this upside down is cool. Chrissy, yeah, I'm sorry. I usually, um, in post and all of our pre-recorded videos, I flip this, I flip this screen so you can see it uh, the correct way. Um, Sometimes I forget because I'm so used to doing it this way, but most of the time I fix it. Hi, Chrissy. How are you doing, my dear? Okay. That's it. How easy is that? Now go ahead and remove your scoring stylus and put it back where it was before Becca kills you. And now I can move our cricket out of the way. And it's super easy. Remove the excess paper. And you guys know the drill. We love to put our Cricut mat face down and remove our mat from our material, not our material from our mat, because that prevents curling. So we have this here. Now I'm going to go ahead with my score lines. And it really doesn't matter what direction you score these. You can score them in both directions and then fix them later. So you can just score these. I think the scoring stylus makes really good score lines personally. I like the score lines that it makes. Okay. We'll do the same thing here. Just scoring them. Again, it doesn't matter what direction. They're going to be accordioned. Accordioned? Is that a word? They're go <laughs> it's going to be like an accordion fold, but you can fold them first in any direction. Okay, at this point, you're actually going to take your ATG gun and put two of these together just like this. So. I'm going to take my ATG gun, make a little X here, just like that. Line it up as even as I possibly can. Perfect. So this is how it's going to be. We're going to have this one at the bottom of the box, just like this. It's going to be accordion just like this. This is going to be attached to the top of the box. This is going to be attached to the bottom of the box. And then when you open the box, it's going to open up like that and show you all of these cute little panels that you can decorate. Now we have our box pre-painted, ready to go, movie magic. Now again, this is what it looked like before. And we took our acrylic paint with a sponge brush and just painted it. This was two coats. You could probably do more coats, especially inside. I definitely got lazy doing the inside here. But again, the bottom and the top are going to be covered by this paper anyways. This is going to be setting right in there. So you're not going to see the inside that much. Okay. So I have this ready to go. I have our stickers. Look how stinking cute they turned out. Look how cute. I love this. And the offsets are going to really pop on the, um, the pink paper. But I want to go ahead and glitter this first because... I want it to be drying a little bit before we put this thing all together. Okay. I'm going to put this Mod Podge directly on my paintbrush and brush it on the sides just like this. Just like this. Mod Podge doesn't dry too quickly, so this should be fine to do like this. Just like that. Perfect. Okay. 
two more sides. Oh gosh, I don't know how to hold this now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna hold it like this. And I'm only doing the sides because I think it'll pop because the front, of course, we're putting a sticker on. I think I'm gonna brush it to make it a little more even. There we go. Okay. Done with that. I'm gonna set this to the side over here. Now I'm gonna put this to the side, get my glitter out. Let's rock and roll here. I'm just gonna sprinkle this. Oh, this is pretty. Look how cute. Now, one thing that you can do as well when you're done with this, and when it's dry, is add some spray polyurethane to this, and it will keep it from um, shedding, I guess is the word I can use. It'll keep it from shedding so bad. So here is how that looks. I think it's adorable. Whatever you don't like, you can literally wipe off with your finger if you want to. So like I w it was up on that edge a little bit. Look how stinking cute. Okay, so I'm going to shake that off and let it dry over here to the side a little bit. Now, you can take the lid off of your glitter, get your paper. That is. Yes, Becca, this Mod Podge is from the Dollar Tree. Dollar, Dollar, Dollar Tree. If you do, oh, sorry, James asked if this was from the Dollar Tree. She, he said that Becca made a comment. Um, if you guys didn't catch the live last Thursday, it's the Dollar Tree supplies you needed. It's actually, it's actually really cool because Dollar Tree, if you guys didn't know, they raised their prices, which kind of sucks. But uh, they, with the price raise, they also, I think, personally raised their quality, which is really nice. So, sorry, I was getting a drink of coffee. They have really upped their game, in my opinion. So this sticker is going on the front, which we just glittered, and the rest of these are going on here. Now, I had these in Design Space exactly how I wanted them, so I'm going to go ahead and reference Design Space. No, you're good. Thank you for asking, though. Um, so I wanted, now again, this one, out of commission. This one, out of commission. This one's going to go on the top of the box. This one's going to go on the, on the bottom of the box. So these two do not even count. Uh, we're going to be decorating these. The first one, I had this little T-Rex. So I'm going to take our T-Rex and place it down. Now, this is when... Reverse tweezers come in handy. I did link these below for you because I love reverse tweezers. If you have little dainty hands, it's fine, but I certainly do not have little dainty hands. I'm gonna place this dinosaur down. Look how cute. Now again, this is a little overkill in my opinion. <laughs> of course, I'm the one making it. This is a little overkill with the birthday lingo because I'm using so many birthday cut files. This would be amazing. Uh, it's just because I wanted to showcase Becca's amazing artwork, but this would be super cute if you had like two of these and the rest like little print and cut photos of the birthday person, you and the birthday person, something like that. I think that would be adorable. Um, you do not have to do it like this by any means. But again, I had to showcase these files because they're so darn cute. I'm going to place this one down. Love it. A little off center, you know, no one's perfect. <laughs> okay, next is this happy birthday. I love this one. It's a little banner. I have glitter all over my hands. I'm going to be finding it forever. Place this down. And then our llama. The llama is so cute. Place our little llama down. Line him up. Place him down. Love it. Okay. Now I'm going to go back, watch the comments, see how it's going. No, you're good. Are we still on overhead? Yeah, that's perfect. Thanks, honey. Um, yes, Kat, questions are always encouraged. Is that for Miss Katrina? Katrina, yes, please ask questions. If I do not answer, answer them, I know that Becca will. I'm really, really sorry. Um, James is doing like six jobs as well as feeding a baby right now, so questions are hard for me to get to all of them if I don't see them. But Becca's doing an exceptional job of answering them as well as our flock, and if I see them, I will answer them as well, Miss Katrina. Thank you for asking questions. They're always welcome, just like Kat said. Okay, let's see here. I want to make sure everybody's good. Okay, great, 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 great. What did Maria say? That video sent me shh. Sent me shopped by, LOL. I think you mean you went shopping, maybe? 
Maria, Mama Disney. Anyways, so we're done with this. We need to put our cut file on here. I should have done this first because it's still kind of wet, but you know, you live and you learn. I'm going to remove our very last sticker. I just ripped it. Do as I say, not, not as I do. Good grief. Okay. We get our reverse tweezers. Line this up here on our box. Look how cute. Perfect. Place this down. Look how stinking cute. Okay, so I'm gonna pick our box up. So here's how the top looks. I love the glitter. I think it's adorable. Do the glitter if you're wondering. Now again, when this dries, you can spray this whole thing with a uh, Minwax Polycrylic um, and it'll lock in that glitter and not shed on you at all. So we're going to start ATGing. So we're gonna ATG this to the bottom like that. So we're gonna take this and I'm gonna be a little bit more heavy with my ATG. What is it, Chrissy? Let's see. Oh, did she? Is the Maker 3 easy to calibrate? My stickers are off by like two centimeters if, even after 40 calibrations. <gasps> oh, Chrissy, bless your heart. Uh, Becca did answer it perfectly. Um, our Maker 3 is calibrated like insanely good. Becca calibrated it for us. Usually it's our explorers that calibrate better and stay calibrated better, but this darn maker is calibrated perfect. So when I place this down, I actually have to fold it all up. That way I can kind of lay it in here a little bit better. Just like that. Make sure you like the way it's laid in there. I don't want it to be off center or anything like that. Perfect. Okay. And once you get it the way you like it, push it down. And now you can open up that accordion. Look how cute. Okay. Now I'm going to add ATG to the top of this one. Because again, you added it to the bottom of that one and the top of this one's going to go in the top. So you want it to be laid like that. Just like this. Perfect. Then we'll add our last piece. And we'll be good to go. Okay. Grab our top here. Make sure you add it to the correct spot here too. Because this is going to be the front. They're going to open it like this. So make sure you add it to the right piece here. Oh, this thing's wet. I don't know the best way, way to do this. Okay. Line it up. Just like that. Perfect. Use some pressure to push that down. And you're done. So here's the box. Oh, I don't want to push it down. Oh, here we go. I messed it up a little. Oh no. Okay. So here's the box. Look how stinking cute. Then you open it up and boom, it accordions out to all these adorable little birthday wishes. How stinking cute is that? It's a little pop out box. I think it's adorable. You can go any direction with this. You can make this for someone's birthday, for Father's Day, for Mother's Day, for graduation, anything you want. I have so much glitter on my hands. James, if you want to switch to that front facing camera, you absolutely can. Oh, the glitter, the glitter, oh my gosh. So what did you guys think? I think it's super cute. I love, I love hate glitter. Becca adores glitter, but I find it for days. So it's hard for me to love glitter. Um, anyways, let's see here. Oh, Kat says, I just ran out of tape in my ATG gun, not looking forward to the replacement. Should I buy the new tape gun? Kat, I think half of that was a joke because you know that replacing it is not as bad as you think. But if you wanted to buy the new Scotch tape runner, it's good too. It really is. Um, I think ATG is always number one in our hearts though. Let's see. Katrina, I bet you could put money on it for graduation. That is an excellent idea. You could fold up some cash and use a little bit of ATG, stick it to each you can stitch it, stick it to each of those panels in the middle one where it says happy birthday. You can say happy graduation or enjoy the dough or something funny like that. Um, but yeah, you can absolutely um, ATG some money in there. Now, if you do just a little bit of ATG, it's not going to hurt the money at all. It can pop right out, but it will still stick well. I love that idea. That's great. That is great. Um, 
For those who don't want to work with regular glitter, you could cut glitter paper to fit. Maria, that's an excellent idea too. You guys are so creative. We have some really great glitter paper. You could do that 100%. Um, I just wish that I had done that right in the beginning to let that dry more. But, you know, you live and you learn. You live and you learn. Um, let's see. Love glitter. You could also use double-sided tape instead of the glue. Um, that was double-sided tape. Oh, you mean for the glitter. Oh, that's smart. Like You do like ATG all over it. That's smart too. Yeah. Yeah. Is today the day camp starts? Surely it is tomorrow or else I would be there because I'm not missing it. Uh, this is the only live. I said it once, but again, since more people have joined, hello. Uh, this is the only live this week. We have some amazing pre-recorded videos for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So four videos. They are not premiered like normal, so you cannot see them right now. They are scheduled and ready to go public. Uh, they will go public and publish on our YouTube channel at noon every day Eastern time. So definitely check those out. Good morning, Beth. Hello. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Becca said it officially starts tomorrow, but a few will arrive today maybe. That is true. Um, yeah. Leaving for camping in about 30 minutes, Maria. Oh, I'm so excited to see all of you. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Thank you all so much for joining the live today. I hope you have had a, I hope you have had a ton of fun. Um, Katrina, great question. She said camp. So Katrina, we, um, I don't want to say we really, it was like Becca and Kat had a conversation, uh, several months ago about how fun it would be to have like a little group camp trip during a live stream and more people during the live said, well, I would go, I would love to go. I would enjoy that. So it kind of escalated from a mutual love of camping to a little bit of a, a getaway for our flock our members. So tomorrow we are having our very first, it's not like an event, but it's kind of like a get together where we call it camping with the flock. It, um, it's going to be amazing. We're going to Cumberland Mountain State Park. It's about two hours away from where we are right now. And some people are driving days to get here. So we're all going to come together at the campground up there and, uh, camp, tomorrow through Sunday and have a great time. It's a vacation for us. It's not all about crafting. It's not like a, um, an, a crafting event. We're all just having a vacation camping and we have some scheduled get together times where we're gonna have uh, some really fun game nights and things like that. You know, uh, ice cream socials and a s'mores galore and just kind of talking with you guys and get to know you all and thanking you all for everything that you do for us. So it's going to be super fun. It's, this is just the first of many get togethers we're going to have here at Oak and Lamb as we grow. And we're super excited to, to kick it off with this camping with the flock. I also camped growing up and haven't been camping in like 10 or 12 years. So I'm really excited to get back in the groove with it. And it's really uh, special because it's not just me camping now, but it's my son gets to go. So I'm really excited. Um, have a great time, everyone. Thank you so much, Heather. You're so sweet. Well, guys, uh, let me see. If all goes well, will you do it again? You think this sounds fantastic. Katrina, I think even if it doesn't go well, we'll still do it again. Um, I'm kidding. It's going to go great. We're going to have a ton of fun. Lucy, get out of that, you big goober. Bless her heart. Uh, do you want to come up here, Lucy? Look, come here. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. This is Lucy, my mom's sweet dog. Uh, she is only three months older than Lenny, so they are best buds. But she's a very good girl, and she pulled my mic out. Sorry, guys. But she's a chihuahua. She doesn't really look like a chihuahua, but she <laughs> she's a chihuahua. She's really sweet. Um but anyways, Katrina, we will have we will have a ton of these events probably. Um, they're great. We love to get together. We hope it goes really well. Okay, cruise. Beth said cruise. Yes, we would love to have a camping cruise. We think that would be amazing. Like a craft cruise. Yes, um, it's actually funny. It, Tanner's the one who mentioned it. Tanner had a friend that had a crafting cruise, and he said it, the cra that crafting cruises are tricky because. At the end of the day, you have to like lock up your crafting scissors and tools and stuff. I don't. I guess it's a safety thing. So that's the only thing that's funny to think about is like the rules and restrictions on a ship. Like, yeah, you can have like 
scheduled craft time, but it's like you have to lock up your scissors at the end of the day or something. I forget exactly what he said. That was years ago, but um, it was funny. It was funny. They're chanting Charlie, but let me tell you, Charlie is now dead asleep in James's arms, and I would hate to mess that up. I would hate to mess that up. I promise you'll see him again. Uh, you guys, when was it? When did you come? Was it last? Last week. Last week? Uh, Charlie made a cameo last week. He had his Oak and Lamb shirt on. So go check that out if you want to see Charlie last week. He hasn't changed much from last week to this week, except today he's in a skeleton onesie, a little skeleton. It's hilarious. Okay, so I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. We will be here um, looking at your comments, making sure everybody is taken care of. It's not like we're going off the grid. We're just going to the park. As you can see, Becca is here. She's typing away, helping answer questions. This is what we're going to be doing uh, remote from the campground. So continue to watch all of our videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, like this video, ring that bell to get notified. Everything helps. Don't forget to use that code FUN, F-U-N, at checkout to get your first month of membership with us for only $9.99. That's an exceptional value. We do have free commercial licensing on all of our amazing cut files, a lot of member-only perks that we're only adding to, and that Facebook group that is completely unmatched. It's amazing. So no matter what area of crafting you're passionate about, let Oak and Lamb help you become more confident in that area. We will be able to see you next Tuesday. So a week from today, we will be live again, but don't worry. We're going to have a bunch of content through the week for you guys, and we'll be seeing you. We'll be posting, I'm sure, a ton in the private Facebook group and in the uh, Camping with the Flock group if you guys are over there. So definitely stay tuned for that. Thank you so much, Miss Katrina. It has been a pleasure to see you on the live. Thank you so much for joining us today for this amazing craft. I hope you enjoyed this little pop-out box. I can't wait to see what you all do with this. Tag me in the Facebook group if you remake these for any occasion, for anyone you know. I love these, and they're really cheap, honestly. They're super cheap to make. But thank you all so much. Have a fantastic rest of your week, and I'll see you later.